now we shall discuss the one more problem. Show that integral 0 to pi by 2 x by sin x plus cos x dx equals to pi by 2 root 2 log of root 2 plus 1. So that means in the case of this problem also, so it had better to use the integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, let us make use of the properties of the definite integrals so that this problem can be solved. So, first let us solve it. So, let us say i equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 x by sin x plus cos x dx. So, now using integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, using this property, now this can be rewritten as i equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 pi minus sorry pi by 2 minus x by sin of pi by 2 minus x plus cos of pi by 2 minus x dx sin 90 minus theta is cos theta cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. So, using that, so using the formulae, this can be written now. Integral 0 to pi by 2, pi by 2 minus e x by cos x plus sin x or sin x plus cos x, both are same. So, we can split the pi by 2 common pi by 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by sin x plus cos x dx minus here integral 0 to pi by 2 x by sin x plus cos x dx. What do you observe? Yes, again integral 0 to pi by 2 x by sin x plus cos x dx appears. That is given problem only. Same problem this one. So, that is nothing but i. So, now it is replaced by i. So, this equals to pi by 2 times pi by 2 times sorry up to this one only pi by 2 pi by 2 ok. So, now this one leave it integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by sin x plus cos x dx minus i. So, now transposing minus i to the left hand side, the problem becomes 2 i equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by sin x plus cos x dx. Here this is pi by 2. So, now we need to find out i value i equals to pi by 4 times here integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by sin x plus cos x dx. Now, it is very interesting. Already we have discussed in indefinite integrals or indefinite integration. See how to integrate 1 by a sin x plus b cos x. Whenever the given function is in the form of 1 by a sin x plus b cos x, 
it had better to substitute sin x is equal to 2t by 1 plus t square cos x is equal to cos x is equal to 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square and whereas dx is equal to 2 by 1 plus t square dt so that the problem can be easily solved. So that means now let us say tan of x by 2 equals to t. So now differentiating is very interesting dt is equal to half times secant square x by 2 dx. So this we can write half times this tan x by 2 is equal to t means this is 1 plus tan square x by 2 dx. This is 2 dt dx is equal to we can write 2 dt by 1 plus t square. I already told you. So now this sin x becomes sin x becomes 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. So, this is 2t by 1 plus t square. Now, what does the cos x become? Cos x equals to 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. So, this is nothing but 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. So, this we can remember. So, in the examination you need not write all these steps directly also we can write sin x is equal to 2t by 1 plus t square cos x is equal to 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square whereas very important here dx is equal to 2dt by 1 plus t square then the function this becomes in terms of t so that that is actually 1 by that may be in the form of 1 by a square plus x square or 1 by a square minus x square or 1 by x square minus a square formula we can apply understood now. So, this is for the sake of for, for better understanding once again I explained all these steps but while solving in the examination it is not necessary once again I repeat the better remember sin x is equal to 2t by 1 plus t square cos x is equal to 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square here dx is equal to 2 dt by 1 plus t square providing t stands for tan of x by 2 that is one. So, you have to remember. So, now so, let us do replacing the respective values of sin x, cos x, dx in terms of t. So, now this i becomes pi by 4 integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by 2t by 1 plus t square plus 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square oh. dx dx is nothing but 2t by 1 plus t square dt ok. Now here limit values also should change it now that I have we have forgotten now here. So we have to change the limit values also here c so, in this case t is equal to tan of x by 2 lower limit x 0 t stands for tan of x by 2 tan 0 0 upper limit x is pi by 2 t is equal to tan of pi by 2 by 2 pi by 4 tan 45 1. So, now the limit changes we have to change the limits in accordance with the value 0 to 1 now it becomes. So, this pi by 4 integral 0 to 1, 1 plus t square is the LCM comes up 1 plus t square in the numerator this can be written 2t plus 1 minus t square into 
this is sorry this is 2dt only 2 by 1 plus t square dt so 1 plus t square 1 plus t square cancel 2 1 ja 2 2 ja pi by 2 times integral 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus 2 t minus t square dt so let it be integrated now okay now this equals to pi by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 so now 2t minus t square from this take minus common sorry this is 0 to 1 only 1 by 1 minus t square minus 2t and dt right out t square minus 2t is the actually can be made as a perfect square so that means add 1 and subtract 1 so this can be written pi by 2 integral 0 to 1 1 by 1 minus t square minus 2t plus 1 minus 1 right out does it make any difference no difference so this is nothing but t minus 1 all square pi by 2 integral 0 to 1 1 minus of minus actually plus 1 this becomes 1 by 2 minus this is t minus 1 whole square dt so pi by 2 integral 0 to 1 1 by 2 can be written root 2 whole square minus t minus 1 whole square dt you can have a doubt why should we write like this so in order to put the standard form that is 1 by a square minus x square dx so we have that formula so we shall discuss so integral 1 by a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 by 2a log of mod a plus x by a minus x plus constant of integration you might be recollected this formula ok so now with the help of this formula this can be written pi by 2 into this is nothing but a square minus x square 1 by 2 a so 1 by 2 root 2 1 by 2 root 2 ok we can write 1 by 2 root 2 right log mod a plus x a means root 2 plus t minus 1 root 2 minus of t minus 1 so limits 0 to 1 let us substitute it limits so pi by 2 this is pi by 4 root 2 now substituting the limits first upper limit log mod of root 2 plus 0 1 minus 1 root 2 minus 0 okay, understood now so now let us substitute 0 here minus log of root 2 minus 1 by this is 0 minus 1 minus 1 root 2 plus 1 so now very interesting thing here see what happens means this is pi by 4 root 2 root 2 by root 2 1 log 1 minus so now let it be rationalize it 
so that we can do log of root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 into so sorry first we can write like this reciprocal this we can write like this root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 all to the power of minus 1. So that is nothing but only. So using logarithmic formula the minus power rule minus 1 into minus plus log 1 is 0 pi by 4 root 2 0 plus log of mod root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1. So, I can explain separately this one here. See, just pi by 4 root 2 log of root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1. Let us rationalize here denominator root 2 minus 1 with root 2 plus 1. So, what do we get? Let us see pi by 4 root 2 log of root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 multiplied by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 plus 1. So, now here this becomes pi by 4 root 2 Okay, log of root 2 plus 1 whole square. It's very interesting. A minus b into a plus b. A square minus b square. This step. This into this. 2 minus 1, 1 only. So, by 1. Next step is 4 pi by 4 root 2. We can write 2 times log of root 2 plus 1. Okay. Root 2 is positive. 1 is a positive. You can remove the modulus. No problem here. And 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja. So, this is equal to pi by 2 root 2 log of root 2 plus 1. See, it has been proved pi by 2 root 2 log of root 2 plus 1. Hence, it is full. 